Hi, my name is Brett Spivey. In today's video, I'd like to demonstrate how to use the NC1 Map Geospatial Portal to discover ESRI-based web and image services and integrate those into ArcGIS. If you happen to not be familiar with NC1 Map, you can visit our website at ncmap.com. In short, this is a collaborative effort to provide seamless data and services uh, for use in GIS and CAD applications for the state of North Carolina. So the first thing I need to do uh, for starting this search is obviously open up the search page and I already have a search phrase in here and I get my list of results on the right and today I'm going to use the 2010 ortho imagery image service and click on the details link this opens up a page that gives some summary information about the service, but to get to the particular uh, link that I want to get this into ArcMap, I need to take one more step, and that's to click on the service URL. This opens up another page, which, again, if you scroll down and review the information, gets to be even a little more detailed. And as you can see at the top, we have three or four different links that we can use to preview or view this service. So we're wanting to get this into ArcGIS, so obviously I'm going to click the ArcMap link. And what this does is download a layer file for me. I'm going to save that to my local desktop. And my computer is configured to save downloaded files from the internet to an actual subdirectory called downloads within my documents. So I'm going to open ArcMap, and I already have a folder connection to that. And I'm going to refresh that. And you can see now that my layer file is indeed there. And to add that to ArcMap, simply drag it to the table of contents. And I can begin using it as I see fit. So this is very straightforward, very quick to accomplish. There's one additional technique that I'd like to show um, that I believe makes it things even easier for you, the user. And that is to not just get a information for a particular service, but we're going to get the information we need to connect to the server, the map server itself, and put that in the catalog so that you can use catalog to see every service that is available. So to do that, I'm going to continue to use the information that we started with. I'm going to back out a little bit and come back to this page. And I'm going to select this hyperlink and I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to come back over to ArtMap and scroll down to the very bottom of Catalog and notice that if I expand GIS servers here, I have the ability to add information that will allow me to connect to an ArtGIS server an ArcIMS server, a web covered server, or a web map server. Now these these two last uh, servers here, ser service types here, are Open Geospatial Consortium or OGC services, and there's a separate video on how to do that because the process is just a little bit different. But since I know that the uh, image service is coming from an ArcGIS server, I'm going to go ahead and double click that, and I'm going to leave the default for use GIS services. And I'm going to paste in the, the link that I copied from the other page. And if you'll take a note that these syntax characteristics are the same between both. So we've got what we need and simply click Finish. Notice now that this server has been connected. So we are not connecting to a particular service at this point. We are connecting to the ArcGIS server itself. And by expanding that, we can see all services that are available from that server. To highlight that point a little bit more, I'm going to connect to another ArcGIS server that we provide. finish now I have a second ArcGIS server and by expanding that I now have access to all these services 
And as you can assume, I can also do that with ArcIMS. So I'm going to connect to a ArcIMS server that we have. And I want all the services. I do have the ability to select particular ones, but for the case of convenience, I want all of them so that I have those available to me. And you can see that I indeed have added this server now. And now I have each of these servers, sorry, each of these services available to me. So if it's not apparent already, the convenience in this, let me collapse this. The convenience in this is that two, there are two reasons. One, each and every time I come back and open an ArcMap project and begin work, I have these resources automatically available to me from Arc Catalog. And I can drag those in and make use of those just as if I had local data. The second advantage is that I am automatically, or this is a mechanism to automatically be kept aware of um, the latest and greatest services that we have. So in the case of the image server that we added, which was this one, right now we really only have two services that are in production. But if we were to add six more image services tonight, and you were to come into work tomorrow and open up ArcMap and expand this server, you would see those six services in the list. So you're, you're able to have uh, all the resources made available to you automatically through our catalog that we are providing. So um, that concludes the video on how to integrate the, the different services provided by ESRI-based server products in ArcGIS. Please check back, and we're going to continue to add more videos that target specific functionalities with the geospatial portal.